Good morning, Berries! It's not morning! Continuing on with music video tricks and tips. So a lot of times I get asked, how do you start a music video? Like, what's your planning going into it? How do you storyboard? How do you come up with your ideas, your shot list, everything, all that stuff? So I'm going to make this really simple video and just break down what I do before I film a music video. Okay, so first thing I do is I play the song on repeat until I'm sick of it. And I try and figure out what is this song making me feel? How is it making me feel? And what do I feel inspired to do whenever I hear it? For example, when I listen to Owl City music, it's just really happy. And um, all of the noises can be like really pretty, so it could be outside in um, nature or green grass. Or it could be kind of a little bit more dancey or cutesy. So, so that's just kind of an example of how a song might make me feel. Another good example is my Ruckus music video, which I talked about briefly in the color correcting video, which you can find right here if you haven't watched it already. So when I first listened to the song Ruckus, it just sounded like a total anthem song. Like, I was like, wow, this song is awesome. There's so much, like, rock in it. When I listen to it, I want to, like, do a dance and, like, shoot something and beat something up all at the same time. And I thought to myself, how can I make a music video out of this feeling? And I thought, oh, man, zombies, perfect. Oh, but not just any zombie video. There is going to be a dance routine to it. Which brings me on to the next point. So once you have your idea, you need to have a beginning, a middle, and an end. Everything else in between can just be whatever. So one thing I knew for sure is I wanted there to be zombies, in the music video, I wanted to have a group of friends with me and we're on a hunt to find something. And I wanted there to be an epic dance battle at the very end. That's what I knew. I got together and started fleshing this idea out with a few different people. So what you can do is find some friends that you like bouncing your creative ideas off of with. Or just any creative person in general. Someone who likes watching movies or cartoons or playing video games, whatever. Even though you may not take their ideas, it's good to bounce ideas off of someone because it gets your brain kind of turning and you're not just by yourself like, oh, this is a stupid idea. You actually have someone helping you be like, oh yeah, that's a great idea. It's like, oh yeah, that's a great idea, I'm gonna do it. Anyways, when I started bouncing ideas off of people, I realized, oh man, this will be awesome. I'll be looking for my brother, David, who got taken away by zombies. And I'm hoping that he didn't get turned into one. So as the music video starts, it shows me looking at a picture and that picture is supposed to be a picture of my brother and we're looking for him. So. I have my beginning. So my middle was going to be the reveal of me actually finding my brother. But before that happens, we stumble across some zombies and just kill them, just because. Fast forward to the middle part. I find my brother and I'm like, oh no, my brother! And that's when I have flashbacks of what actually happened and how my brother died. Or was killed by zombies, turned into a zombie. However that works. So I have my middle, and then the filler, which is the flashback, and then I have the very, very end, which is the dance battle between myself and my brother and my crew of friends and his crew of zombies. And how it ends is we get taken out by the zombies. We're so into our dance moves that we forget that we're surrounded, and one by one they all get eaten off until I'm the last one standing, and you don't know what happens because I just go out guns a-blazing. Something that helped us on the day of filming this was making a shot list. And what that is is basically... Um, writing out the specific shots you want to get, like a wide shot of everything that's happening, a close-up of someone's reaction shot after something happens. Like, for example, when I find my brother in the bridge, there is a wide shot of him and then a close-up of his face and a close-up of my face showing a reaction. So those are, like, good shots to write down. When you're fleshing out the story, it's good to remember uh, how you're going to film everything. It definitely will make your life easier and if you have a shot list You'll make sure you don't forget to miss any part of your story And when you're editing it just makes everything easier because you have something to go off of Another good idea is to make sure you have like somewhere to write your thoughts down It could just be a file on word on your computer or what I like to do is keep it in like a little journal. Whenever I have a random idea for a song, I'll write it down. You never know when it's gonna come in handy. Anywho, that was really basic. I hope that was helpful to you I hope it gives you some ideas or at least just something to start off with. I know just getting started storyboarding can be very overwhelming because you may have a bazillion and one ideas, but to just pick one can be a little bit more complicated. Or you may not have any ideas at all, so I, I hope this helps you kind of get on the right path. So let's recap. For your music video, think of how it makes you feel and go off of that feeling. Once you have that, try and find a beginning, a middle, and an end. Flesh out your ideas with a friend. Talk to them about it. You may sound really crazy or your idea may be a little bit too complicated. Simplifying things isn't necessarily a bad thing. It can really help make your video awesome. Okay, storyboarding is done. Awesome. Yeah! 
If you haven't already, be sure to check out my other tips where I do color correcting, and then I talk about syncing audio and lip dubbing, and this one right here. Click the annotations. Whoa! All right, that about wraps it up. If you haven't already, check out this week's Sounds Like. It's your last and final chance to enter the ultimate music video contest on Strawberry 17. The prizes are huge and better than ever, and all you have to do is make a music video response to this week's featured artist. Happy music video making, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Library shows me what